Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Shreshtha. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to create your very own reading list. Also, my top three books of 2019, which really impacted my life. And finally, my reading list for 2020. So if you're someone who loves to read, let's get started. <music> is how to create your very own reading list. First of all, you should select the genre you need to read or you wish to read. For example, I remember when I was real young, all I wanted to read was fiction and love stories, but over the time it has really changed. I love to read self-help books, um, books related to, you know, uh, self-growth and all the other things. I think your very own genre is very important. It tells you what you really want to read. Once it's decided, it really gets easy from there. So if I really go back on my good old reading days, the way I used to do is I used to go to my good old bookstores and go to the self-help book section and go to the books read the back the summary and just decide then and there which book i would really like to buy and just go with the flow uh, but over the time i realized it was um i would end up buying books which i won't enjoy reading later or i couldn't get anything out of the book things like that was happening a lot when i was trying this method so the second method which i started was to prepare ahead i would just go to google just go to google type the self-help book and there will be a section of books which will show up quite a bit articles which will give you a list of books to read in that genre and then all you have to do is go through the books read their reviews and you will know which book to buy uh, and also then you have an option of either going to the store and buying the book from there or just doing online shopping i love both sometimes i really love to go to a bookstore and buy books and sometimes just for the easy convenience i like to order them online uh, now that you talk about buying books online you can always go to amazon when you go to amazon there's a section called best sellers uh, you can visit that section and there will be a list of books um just see which kind of books you want to read and you have the reviews as well of the customers who bought that book and from that section also you can decide which book you would like to read next the third way is to reflect to reflect and think about things which you really want to either learn or incorporate into your life once you know the goal you want to achieve research the books related to that thing online and you will definitely get it for example, this new year, this 2020, I really need to learn more about finances, budgeting. So one of the book which came out from this goal of mine was uh, Total Money Makeup. So when you reflect and think about it, all the goals you want to achieve, uh, it automatically talks about what kind of book you would like to read. So this new year, there are so many YouTubers which definitely talk about their best um the reading list you can go through them and then maybe you can add it into your reading list for 2020 there are so many uh, channels on youtube just dedicated for reading and about books their review and stuff like that you can check them out as well and then maybe decide for yourself which book you would like to read one tip i would like to add here and what i'm doing personally this year for the very first time is i not only review the book but i read the sample as well a peek into the book how it is going to be whether i'm going to like it or not so i go to my iphone and into the ibooks uh, you can type whatever book it is that you're looking for if they have it they'll definitely give you few pages as sample so that you can read it if you like it if you think it's something that is talking to you uh, or making sense to you and you really want to further continue uh, reading that book then you can just buy it um, this is one of the other very good tip i think uh, will be useful if you are one of those people who are not sure whether they should buy the book or not uh, or else someone like me who buys a lot of book but in the end ends up enjoying only few of them so yes, I think it's a good way to give yourself a head start what kind of a good, what kind of language and a book you will be dealing with. 
lately i have enjoying myself to read the samples um given in the ibook so that i can decide if it is truly holding my interest and if i'm going to really learn something from that book and to decide and that's how i have also ended up creating my 2020 reading list so now we have moved to the second part of this video and that is the top 3 books of 2019 books that have really impacted my life and brought changes in my life comment below and let me know your favorite book of 2019 which really impacted your life i would really love to know first book is now before i even say the name of this book if you have been following my channel or if you have been seeing any of my videos you know for sure what book i'm going to talk about yes it is the life changing magic of Tidying up by Mary Kondo. Oh my God, I have talked about this a lot on my channel, and here I'm going to put a video where I have just reviewed this book. Um, if you would like to check it out after this video, please go ahead. So I'm not going to review this book again, but in short, talks about the art of tidying up. of how you can organize and declutter your life and how meaningful um decluttering can be and how life changing decluttering can be in very a uh, simple language it really talks how you can really change your life by just organizing and decluttering and cleaning your um life on so many levels whether it's physical declutter or your mental declutter i would really recommend reading this book by hands down it is one of my favorite book uh, i always go back to it it has brought so much of value into my life and i would really recommend you to read this book also for your convenience i will be listing all the books mentioned in this video in the description box below the second book i would like to talk about is the power of subconscious mind by dr joseph murphy i have already read this book twice and i always go back to this book as well first of all it is written in a very simple language so that everyone can understand it but what i would like to add here is that you have to read this book with a very open mind only then you can understand um the concepts or some of the things will resonate only then when you are very open minded um about this book it is all about the power which lies within you about affirmative thinking and that everything is possible in the world if you put your mind your focus into it and how by just putting it across in the universe your intention you will attract those things in this book the author really talks about how you should visualize what you really want in life whether it is in terms of your health or some materialistic goals or even if it's goal related to relationships all you have to do is visualize it and be very very vivid about them be very very clear about them and think about it as if it has already happened and things will do come true like there was one of the story in the book where he says you know by just attracting the right vibes you can heal yourself 5 on 5 i will highly recommend reading this book it's all about achieving those goals and dreams by visualizing them and believing in them before it has already happened and this book is a wonderful book if you are ready to be open minded and digest those concepts The third book to make on my 2019 reading list was The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. This book really talks about that everyone has a different love languages. The love languages mentioned in this book are words of affirmation, acts of services, receiving gifts, quality time and physical touch. So this book is a very important because it talks about that how you can really love someone and be madly in love with them and it can be any relationship in your life uh with a partner with your parents with your sibling with your friends any relationship that you might love someone very deeply but still you feel that they they feel that they are not loved in a way that they want to be and this is because everyone has a very different love language and it can be true that two people who are madly in love have different love languages for example me and my husband we both have a very different love language and it is all about understanding what love language 
is your partner's love language and also to know first of all what is your primary love language it is possible that you have two love languages you know that you might like this also you might like that also but you will always have one primary love language which is going to resonate with you so it is all about knowing your love language and your partner's love language or any relationship we are talking about here and then trying to showcase your love in the way they want so that they feel loved and fulfilled so i remember i bought this book and i wanted to read it especially when i was taking a very big step of moving forward our relationship and getting married and, and i wanted to be more intentional that i express my love in the way that that makes him feel fulfilled if you are someone who is having any issue in a relationship or like someone who wants to enhance their relationship even more like in my case then definitely go and purchase this book read it it is you know very simple language and it is full of real life examples where gary chapman have himself helped so many couples so many relationships by just making them understand that we all have very individualistic characteristics and then we might have different love languages and it's all about knowing yours and your partner's love language first step is to actually know your love language if you don't know what you need it's very difficult to expect it out from anyone it's all about first making yourself happy only then you can be responsible to make someone else happy if you understand what i mean Finally we have reached the final part of this video and that is my reading list for 2020. The first book to make up to my reading list is Everything is Figured Outable by Mary for Leo. Um I really like the concept of uh, you know starting and understanding that everything in your life is figured outable. It's all about putting it um putting your attention in the right way. So I'm really excited to give this book a read. Dago. Nachi Nice. So I received this book Everything is Figured Outable by Mary Forleo and this is my first read of 2020. I've already started with this book and it's really nice and I casually posted about this on my Instagram which is this my third dot image and Mary Forleo herself replied on that post. I was so shocked and excited as well to see that comment and yes, just wanted to share it with you guys. Number 2 Total Money Makeover I've already mentioned it in the beginning of this video that this year I want to learn more about how to handle finances and budgeting and all those good things I've heard a lot of good reviews about this book and I'm really excited to read this book this year as well which brings me to the third book Rich Dad Poor Dad it has been on my list since ages I believe and this year I'm really really looking forward to read this book as well Four Atomic Habits by James Clear. This also has been on my reading list since ages, and I'm really, really, really excited to give this book a try. It is all about creating those effective habits and the whole idea on how you create them. So yes, I'm really looking forward for this book as well. Fight the Subtle Art of Not Giving F by Mark Manson. I have heard so many good reviews about this book as well, and this is already on my reading list for 2020. And there are a lot many other books as well, but these are the top five. I'm really excited to read and start as soon as the year starts. Um, I would like to add here that reading is very essential, and one of my favorite quote by Dr. Seuss. I hope I'm saying the name correctly is the more you read the more things you know the more that you learn the more places you will go and it is indeed very true I hope you like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit the little bell icon next to it so that you can join the notification squad and you don't miss any videos from my side also follow me on Instagram my Instagram handle is thismythelp.tmh meet me in my next video until then bye bye take care